back to my channel. Uh, today's video is about a beauty haul that I've gathered for the past couple of months. Uh, I'm going to show you the new products that just came out off of the shelves um, that I'm willing to try out and do some reviews on. Please do leave comments down below uh, if there's any other products that you want me to review on. Other than that, let's go ahead and get started. So for the last couple of months, I've been to uh, different stores during my work break, things like that. And I've also done some online shopping. Um, the first two items I'm going to show you are actually bought online. One of them uh, actually came in the package uh, on Friday at my work. Um, this one is from Morphe, as you can tell. And I got some of these brushes uh, for many reasons. One of them is because I And some of my brushes are starting to get a little shitty like and I decided to try some new products that I've never tried before as you probably already know some of the youtubers have these products and I don't even get the hands on them because well it's a little expensive or I just don't have the time to go shop online um, preferably I like to shop in store so the first item I'm going to show you is the Morphe G2 brush like this everybody be talking about it so it looks like this a medium size dome style brush uh, what people like about this on YouTube is the fact that you can do it under here in the eyes things like that um, can't wait to start this and try it out I'll let you know if I really like it Okay, so the next brush I'm going to be showing you is the Morphe E55. It is a, I believe, a half, an inch and a half um, contour brush. It looks like this. It's very tiny. It's somewhat a little thin. It's like a paintbrush. Um, the reason why I also got this brush is because I want to go ahead and get the chisel look whenever I do some contouring. But as you guys already know, I don't do a lot of contouring. But when I do, I'd like to try to use this brush. It's pretty much convenient. Some of my other friends have this brush and apparently they're raving about it. So hopefully I'll give it a go and I'll let you guys know um, how I feel about it. Okay, so the next brush is from Morphe as well. It is the E35 brush. I believe this is a little teeny tiny smudger brush. I believe Manny MUA uh, raved about it in a few of his videos. And I decided, you know what? I must look at myself one. Um, uh, keep in mind these brushes when I got them they were on sale on the Morphe website uh, so it looks like this very tiny it's a very detailed smudger brush you can use it for detailing things like that um, I personally don't have this in my collection uh, that's why I bought it and plus Manny obviously raved about it the next brush is the Morphe E23 big fluffy brush to blend things out in your crease area to make sure that everything is nice and blended. Um, can never have enough of blended brushes and obviously the way it feels, the way it, it looks, it's very professional and very clean. Um, I have way too many blending brushes but again as I said, you can never have too much of these. So I have another uh, Morphe E39 brush, it's another detailed smudger brush. Uh, between the, these two is that this one's a little bit thicker. So here's this one, the E39. I'm going to compare it to the E35. Okay, E35 here, E39 here. As you can see that the E39 is a little bit bigger than the E35 in length. But other than that, it's great to use as a detailed um, work around the eye area. Or you can use it for concealing, not a problem. Or you can use it as a lip brush as well. And last but not least from the Morphe uh, shopping is a uh, duo ended, uh, a double ended, my apologies, um, angled uh, brow and spoolie. It is the E29. Uh, I decided to get a new one because mine is starting to break. Can never have enough of these. 
seems to be pretty sturdy. This one you can tell the brush is a little bit more angled and a little bit more bigger, but that's not a problem. I don't mind. I can work with that. And of course, the spoolie. Never have enough spoolies in your life, huh? Okay, so the next haul I also got from online is the Sigma. Still in the box, as you can tell. I'm gonna go ahead and open it. Delivery. Let's see what's in this little card here. <clears throat> Brushes make up brush care. Seems convenient. Okay, so it's a little pamphlet of um, items that they carry. Uh, different brushes, what it's used for, different kits, different palettes, different brush care. And then the back over here is a uh, eyeshadow eyeliner, lip stuff, and other products that Sigma carries. Pretty cool! Oh, and it tells you how to clean the brushes, which is pretty cool too, when you fold it back in. Cool. So now I'm going to get into the box. Sucker for packaging, as you can tell. I like that pig foiling on this little box here. Honestly, I don't even remember what I bought. Let's see. Okay. So I got these brushes also on sale at the time when I bought these. I be I believe last month. So I'm gonna show you what I got. So I got the E17 from Sigma. It's a waterline uh, liner. Pretty tiny. <clears throat> something like this. Uh, what I like about this one, again, it's obviously made for the waterline, but just like the other two brushes from uh, from Morphe, very detailed. You can use it for smudging if you need to, but I think essentially I think I'm going to use it just for the waterline. So I got me a Sigma Eyeliner E05. Again, taking it out from the plastic, and it comes with a little cap. I like that actually. I'm gonna try this out. I'll let you guys know. Let's see how this goes. But uh, good to have in my collection. Okay, the next one that I got is the concealer F75 from Sigma. It's just a concealer brush with, um, I believe this is a uh, uh, synthetic brush. No, it's not. So it's natural hair. Uh, but other than that, it is great to use under the eyes, like right here, when you're putting concealer and blend it all out, which is great. Or you can use it for cream products as well. Um, I'm actually quite excited to use this. Again, I'll let you know um, down below what these brushes are, uh, what I have hauled, and everything in this video. So I got myself the blending brush E25, very popular item, hot item in Sigma, every makeup artist and YouTuber has this brush, I, it's quite similar to the 217 brush from MAC, um, can never have enough of this, I never own, like, just like the Morphe, I never owned Sigma brushes, so this is quite of a treat for myself for Christmas, um, excluding the Lorac palette, Makeup Pro 2 palette and the YSL Tintin Oil um, Lip Gloss. Um, again, this is the Sigma E25 Blending Brush. Okay, last but not least from the Sigma line, I also got the Tapered Blending Brush E40. Picking it out from the plastic. Uh, another blending brush, quite fluffy. You can tell it's very... It's very... Not as... Not as dense as most brushes, but because it's made for blending, it's great for you know, the crease area like right here, um, things like that. Uh, I think it's great to have one in your collection if you don't have it already. I do recommend Sigma and Morphe um, whenever they're on sale. I know they're expensive, but you know, when you get your hands on it, try ahead and go and get it. Last but not least... I got this free item from Sigma. It is an eyeshadow base. Looks like this in the packaging. Love the packaging. So let's go ahead and open it. It's in the color dash. On the website, when you look at it, it looks more like a brown color. So let's see what it actually looks like in person. Okay, so here's the package. 
packaging. I like it. Okay. I'm gonna take out the little cap thingy. And it looks like this. So it's a brown eyeshadow base with a tint of purple in there. Uh, it's great for an eyeshadow base, or you can use it even as an eyeliner if you feel like it. That's not a problem. I do like the color. It's really pretty. Okay, the next item that I got from Macy's is the Anastasia's uh, Contour Cream Kit in Medium. It looks like this. It's in its packaging. I have been wanting to own one, one of these for so long, it's just it's hard for me to get access to it. So it, you can tell it's still new because it still has this plastic thing in here. But if you just go ahead and open it. So these are your colors right here. This is cinnamon, chocolate, and ash brown. And then this is warm coral, sorry, warm coral, banana, and cream. It's great to use it. Especially in the winter time, you don't want to use too much of a, a powder product. You want to be sure that it looks like you're healthy within, and it's easier to blend than it is powder, surprisingly. That's what I've heard from other uh, makeup artists and YouTubers. I'm quite excited to use this product, actually. Can't wait to use it. The next product that I got is also from Macy's. Uh, it is from MAC. It is the Prep and Prime Fix Plus. Um, I decided to go back to this um, this product. You guys probably already seen these like 10 million times on YouTube, but I don't care. I love this product. I'm going back to it. It's been a while since I've touched it. I tried getting the Fix Plus in Rose, but I believe you have to get those at a pro um, a pro store or online. Um, only Macy's or things like that, those, de those department stores only sell the Fix Plus. Actually, the next three or four products I got are also from the Body Shop. Uh, I went there yesterday to check out some new products, and plus they were on sale, so why not? So the first item that I got is a Vitamin E Moisture Cream. Looks like this in this packaging. It's in a pink container. Smells like roses, but it is a cream formula. Uh, it smells like roses. It's great for hydration during the winter time. I am gonna try this out. It's, for me, this is more like my nighttime cream rather than using a heavy duty nighttime cream. So I'll let you know how this goes. The other product is also from the Vitamin E line in the pink packaging. This is the Moisture Lotion and SPF 15. Great for those who have dry skin. Um, this is like an all-in-one purpose only because it does have SPF in it. It comes in a squeeze tube. I'll, I'll let you know how this goes. I'm quite sensitive to products that have fragrances, so we'll see how that goes. The next product is um, also from the Body Shop. Seaweed Mattifying Moisture Lotion at SPF 15 Combination to Oil Combination Oily Skin. It's great for those who have combo skin. And during the winter time, what I like to do, you probably already know, but usually I mix something that's combination or oily product with more of a winter product during the winter. Um, combine those two and put it on my face. That is how I like to do my moisturizing or facial regimen um, during the winter time. But again, this is the seaweed one from the Body Shop. Mattifying Moisture moisture Lotion. The last product that I got is a mask. These were on sale for a dollar or two dollars from the Body Shop. It is the Vitamin E Sink In Moisture Mask. So it looks like this in this packaging. I don't know if any of your local the Body Shop stores have any more of these. Again, these were on sale. Um, I did use it last night. You can tell it's already been opened. So what I'd like to do is once I'm done washing my face and tone my face, um, I like to put this on before I put moisturizer on um, so that I can let it sink in for like 10 minutes. Um, let it feel like it's soft and supple uh, so that way it's ready for prepping for tomorrow morning. Or you can use it the next day in the morning um, while you're getting ready for the rest of the day. 
I'm gonna let you know how these go as well. All right, the last set of products I got were from various stores like Walmart um, and Target and CVS. Yes, those three stores. So the products I got were from the Maybelline uh, line. These are new products, so I'm gonna go ahead and show them to you. This is the Master Prime in the number 410 with the primer. I'm just gonna guess this is probably gonna be similar to Benefit's um, eyelid primer. Stay, stay out, stay something. I'll link it down below. But there are two colors out of this. This is the 410. There's another one that's 420, which is a little bit darker. But I decided to get the 410. What's this? Okay, open it. Okay, it has that silky finish. It feels from well, some kind of liquid to a powder form once it gets onto your lids. It doesn't have any smell, so like chemicals more than anything. Well, we'll see how this goes. Maybe it will work out in the end. I know there's some primers that don't really work for different people, but I will let you know. The next product I got is the Master Precise Skinny also from Maybelline in the number 210 Defining Black. I'm also going to compare this to the Tarte um, Emphasize um, Eyeliner in the black. They are quite similar in packaging and in black. So it looks like this. Go ahead and open it. Yep, exactly like Tarte already. All you're going to do is twist it. So there's a little bit of product already on there. This is actually from Tarte right here. I have not washed it. Well, actually, let me rephrase that. I have tried washing my hands. It's still there. So let's go ahead and wash this. That one right there. Okay, it's a little smudgy already. I can tell. I don't know if I like that. It's probably good. If you're, it's probably great if you're trying to smudge out liner um, on your on your eyelids, things like that, or on your on your lash line. I don't know if it's gonna be good for those who want to put it on the waterline, unless you got some kind of superpower on your waterline. But for me, it always just smudges and just gets off right away. I have to set it before I put anything on there. But again, this is the Master Precise Skinny Liner in Defining Black in pink packaging. I'm pretty sure you can't miss that. The next product is the uh, Maybelline uh, Brow Drama Pomade Crayon in uh, number 260 Deep Brown. It's in this packaging. There are, I believe, two or three other colors with this line. Now, what it's claiming to be is... Uh, pomade, like Anastasia's pomades or Mally's pomades, but in a crayon form. It looks like this. I'm going to go ahead and swatch that right here. Looks like a pomade, but then again, we won't really know until we try it out, huh? I'll go ahead and probably do a first impression video, see how long it will work with all these other products from Maybelline. Probably work them in. The next product that I got is uh, from also from Maybelline. It is the new Master Fix uh, Setting Perfecting Loose Powder. I got it in translucent. Looks like this in this packaging. Quite similar to other loose powders like Laura Mercier or City Colors uh, or NYX in this case. Go ahead and open this. Okay, so has a sifter right there. Uh, it's only on one little area, so which is great. So that way it's less less messy. Because if it's all over, oh, it's gonna get messy right away. 
but I'll let you know how this goes. I'll probably use it in a tutorial in the near future. Okay. Last but not least in the beauty line, I got the Maybelline Contour uh, Master Contour Palette in the color 20 Medium to Deep. So it looks like this. I'm actually quite excited to try this. There's a the drugstore is coming out with many new products and now that I got my hands on one of these I'm gonna go ahead and try them out for the next couple of weeks let you guys know let me know down below if you want to see a tutorial using any of these products in this video I'd be gladly to do it okay so that is it from the beauty line now I'm gonna show you something on the fashion side of things first item I got is from H&M still has a little bag So the first item I got are these uh, earrings in the rose tone colors, pearls or little, you know, bling bling as people say. Um, in case you guys didn't know already, I love the color rose gold. If I had to really choose a color tier, it'd be rose gold, gold and silver. Uh, my necklace right here is also in rose gold, probably can't tell, with diamonds on it, but I love rose gold. Anything rose gold, that's my baby. The next product I got here from H&M, actually it's the last product from H&M, this is a necklace. So it looks like this. Again, it's gold with that pearly looking leaf uh, design on the necklace. I decided to get more of a statement necklaces nowadays because the clothes I've been transitioning more onto I guess adulthood, <laughs> lack for a better wording, but it's something where, you know what, I might as well look more professional in my daily life, so I decided to get more statement pieces whenever I'm using it at work, or if I'm going out with some friends, or with my boyfriend, family, things like that, you want to look good. So the last item I got in this haul is from Forever 21, it's still in the bag, so the only item I got, again, this is a statement necklace, it looks like this. It's very heavy guys, it's very heavy. I'd say probably a pound or so. But it looks like this. It has some pearls in it. It has that little pretty, um, I guess these are pearls. It has some diamond studs in it and things like that. And the gold chains that are hanging out right here. Again, I am transitioning into them. It's starting to be a phase for me. Quite excited to use these. Alright guys, that is it. Thank you for watching my video. If you have not subscribed already, please do subscribe. It is free 99. Uh, do look for me on Instagram and Twitter at Alta Beauty. At, at Alta Beauty guys, not Alta Beauty. Alta meets beauty. <laughs> um, I will see you guys next time.